Hi everyone, I have Latte Throwdown. I'm gonna be playing solo. And I think if you're a fan of dice games, you'll enjoy this one. So I figure I, I saved some of the setup since it's so easy to set up here. Um, so you'll need nine barista cards and you'll need specifically these cards, just so you know, um, for the solo game. So I've got all these in here, they're nine cards. And then you'll shuffle and you'll put three of them in the barista card sections. And then you have your latte cards. And these are the cards, um, the coffees that you'll try to uh, create in your latte throwdown. <laughs> so you get these shuffled and then you'll be drawing four to fill in these latte areas. You'll notice a score um, track above. So let's open this little box, which I love. And I'm going to be this tannish um, color throughout the game. And I'm gonna put mine on the starting. And I'm gonna put it um, standing up. And then the AI, my opponent, will be the, using the black one. And then we have a bunch of dice here which will all be used. So in the solo mode, they recommend that um, you use the red, the 10 red for the AI dice. So I'll put that here on the side. And then the white I'll end up using for the supply, the surplus dice. And then the brown or tan will be my player color dice. So I get five. I'm going to be using this when I roll for my turn. So the point of the solo game is to get to 40 points before your opponent. And as soon as somebody gets 40 points, that person wins the game. So um, as you see, this track actually only tracks up to 20. So that's why I will signify that I hit 20 and I'm continuing past 20 by putting my um, little marker here face uh, kind of flat or face down. Um, so to start, I'm going to take my turn. I roll all five dice, so I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll, we'll kind of learn as we go. So I roll a couple of uh, pretty good dice here. Two fives, two threes, and a one. So the way barista cards work is you can use them on your turn by placing dice on it. So if I had a three, I could place it here and convert this die to any new value. If I had a one, I could do the same here. That's what the perfect phone does. It basically converts a die value to a different die value. And the steamer malfunction is pretty interesting. If I had a one and a six, it says I could reroll all of my dice. So um, that could come in useful. Um, and then down here, of course, is really the point of the game, which will give you points, which is listed on the left side of each of these lattes. And you'll want to be able to place dice so that you'll actually complete this before your opponent. And you can place them on any amount of lattes, but keep in mind you have five dice. So let's be a little bit realistic and strategic on where you're gonna be placing your dice. So. The etch spiral requires a two, three, five. I didn't roll a two, but I did roll a three, five. And so that means I would be one away to, to getting it. But you'll see that it's actually pretty easy for the um, AI to get it because the AI will end up rolling all 10 of its dice and try to complete each latte starting from the left to the right. So it's going to start trying to complete this first and it probably has a really good likelihood of doing so. So let's just try to complete the heart right away. I have a one and a three. So I'll place the one and the three on my row and I've claimed it. I get two points. So I get two points. I'll move my marker to the two. Um, and then I have a three, five, five left. I'm going to change, um, you know what? I guess I might as well take the chance just in case he doesn't end up rolling. I'll put the three five here. It doesn't matter the order, even though the three five is this way, I could put the five three here as long as the dice um, match overall. Um, and then I have this leftover five. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with it. So I'm gonna just add it back to my supply at the end of my turn. And so I have the five and these two dice back into my hand um, to roll later. Now it's the AI's turn. We'll take all 10 dice and roll it. All right, so it's gonna look for a two, three, five, and it did not roll the two, so it's going to only put the three, five, and I'm going to put it on the black row. And let's move on to this one. It needs a four, four, six, six, and it actually got it. Four, four, 
six, six. So it's going to get four points. So let's move the tracker here for the AI to four. One, two, three, four. And then here it needs a three, three, four, four, but it doesn't have it. And then we have one and six left. So that's the dice it will roll on the next turn. I take my turn. I have three dice in my pool because I have two right now sitting at Etched Spiral. And we're hoping for a two. Of course, we didn't get it. And there really is no way for me to mitigate any of the dice right now to make a two. So um, I'm just going to say I'll keep this. Um, and I could decide to take this back into my hand or if the AI completes the etched spiral before I do, it automatically comes back into my supply for a roll next turn. All right. So the AI will roll the two red dice it has left. Oh, it rolls this as well because I had it completed. And it's looking for a two and still did not roll a two, but it did roll two threes and two fours. Um, it already had two threes, so just placing the two fours here and they'll get four more points. So not a good start for me. So AI is at eight, I'm at two. All right. So there's just one more latte left and I'm hoping I get it with all my three dice. And I still did not get it, but what's cool is I have perfect foam barista card here. I'll put the three here and convert this die to any value and I'll convert it to a two. So now I've got the two, three, five required for etch spiral. Now I get three points. Takes me to five. So everybody gets their dice back. This is the end of the round. So replacing all three barista cards with new ones. So we have a perfect foam for a two, a perfect foam for a six, and a perfect foam for a five. So lots of dice mitigation in this next one. Then we'll get um, a bunch of new lattes. Ooh, high points here. Wow, okay. So let's see what we get. Um, I have one, two, three, three, four. Um, not the best, because there's not anything with threes or a four. Oh, I do have a four here I could do. Let's do that. Let's put the four and then the two I'll also put here and the rest I'll keep, I think. I'll keep in my supply. The AI will go. You need a five, five, six, six. So it has a five, five, six that we'll place here. And then it needs a two and a five, no more fives. It needs sixes here, and it needs a four six here. So it's gonna put a four here. And then it's gonna have the five dice to roll later. Back to me. Um, I have the six, which completes the heart, so I get two points. That's seven. And then these two threes, um, there's nothing for me to do. So I'll keep this into my supply, and then the AI will go. And roll also this one. Nice. So it ends up completing the dragon for four points. It's at 12. And then here it'll need two and five. So I'll give it a five. Here it needs a six. And the rest of the dice will go into its pool. I'll roll my four dice. And I'll keep the five here. Um, I will... Use the perfect foam, change the six to a two. Place that. Now two more dice, which I can't do anything with. Coming back to, to my personal supply. The AI will roll these, hoping for all sixes. It's got one of them and the third one. So it needs two more sixes to do anything. All right, so let's hope for two twos. Okay, so we got one. It would have been nice if this could have been a two, six, or five, or six or five, but nope. All right, AI will go. And it's got the sixes it needs, but um, let's just double check this one. Nope, nothing for the free pour here, and then the free pour of this one, it got what it needed. So it gets five points. So that's 17. And then I have to try to get this one. 
So free pour, I need another two. Got a one. Not helpful. All right, so all the AI needs is um, a bunch of twos. And didn't get any. Perfect. We have another chance. Another one. Not great. The AI has to roll some twos. And got a two. Just a little closer. Back to me. And we got a six. So I'll use this perfect foam. Change into a two. And I've got this latte. Free pour. I gained five points. At 12. All right. The end of the round. Let's change these out. Okay. All right. So let's roll for my turn. All right. Five, 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 three, three. Hmm. I guess I'll do the heart for the three, five. Complete this, get two points. I have a three, five, five. I'll put the five here. I'll put the three here. That should be fine. I'll have this one die and these dice. And I will roll all 10 dice. Just gonna put the five here. Needs a three six here. It's got it. Gets two points. Needs a one two three here. Puts a three here. All right. Need a one. Oh, one two three. Okay. So the three will go here, and then I'll change this four into a one. I'll get the tulip. Giving me two points. I have a four or five. Um, which I can't do anything with. So barista cards, I've been playing so that you can only use it once per turn. So I don't know if that just makes it tougher, if that's the right play. But I am doing that. I'll go ahead and just keep these, I guess. All right, it needed a one, two, three, and it got it. Gets three points, so it's at 20, 21, 22. Nice. All right, so now we shuffle back the discard pile and redraw the three baristas. One, two, three. And it looks like I'm behind here. Okay, so I will keep the one, two, actually, yeah, I'll keep the one, two, and then I have a three, three, five, six, which I think I'll just use this three in the perfect foam and change this into a four. And then I've completed X spiral for three points, not 19. And then this five, six I'll keep into my personal supply. AI, um, I'm just gonna put the two twos and the one. Over here, nothing, it needs a two four here. I'll put the four here. Ooh, lots of threes, two fives, which is nothing. Um, so what I'll do, I guess, so I can get started is I'll put this here, change this into a one, and hope I get the one. All right. And I will roll. And yep, I got the two it needed for the dragon, gaining four points. It's going to be at six. And then here, no ones, and there's the two four here, and it has it, so it's going to gain two points. Wow, I have some catching up to do. All right, roll my four dice. Got another one. And, uh, ugh, I can't do anything else. 
So what I could do is I could use two matching value dice to change cards, but uh, I do like what we have here. So I'll keep it. Get the AI to go. It needs ones, so let's put all the ones here, and that's it. Oof, okay. Still can't do anything. So let's hope that the AI just takes slower to get that one that it needs. And it didn't get any ones this roll, so that's good. And I'm actually just gonna keep the red dice here if that's okay. And I'll keep removing it. My my dice are brown. Alright, so I could Nope, I still can't. I thought I had something for the perfect foam. Alright, AI hey, will try. Got another one. Good for them. I need two more ones here. Got a third one. Two five. Still can't do anything there. AI hey, will try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Much closer. I need two ones here. Oh, I got a one. Mm, I really hope they missed this one. And of course they didn't. Okay, they'll get five points. One, two, three, four, five. And that completes the round. Replace these. One, two. Three. Forgot about my coffee. I made an espresso before sitting down. All right, let's see what we got. I could do. Not much. I'll put this here. I'll put the three here. And otherwise, I'm just going to keep the rest and hope I roll well. I need a four, six. No fours, but it has a six. Three, four. Put a three. Three, four, five. Put a three and a five. Here, it needs a one, five, and six. This one was a six. Okay. All right, so I needed a four here, and I could change this four using the perfect foam into a five. And so I've got this etch spiral for three points. So that's one, that's 20, 21, 22. And this two will go nowhere for now. All right. Ooh, I put a six here. Is that what it should have been? Huh. I'm not sure what this was meant to be. Um, let's re-roll this into it. It'll probably get it anyway. So we got the four five for the Rosetta, two points. This one in needs a three four. I already had three, gets two points. And then this one is a one three six. And I needed the three. I need three points exactly. And I got 40 points just like that. Wow. I wasn't even close. Um, it really depends on your dice rolls, honestly. I was so lucky. I ended up getting a surplus dice as well. Like I used good steamed milk in my first game that I had played. Game will extra die from the surplus dice. So you get an extra die for the round. But man, wasn't able to do that this turn. But um, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this game of Latte Throwdown, the solo version. I love that they had a solo mode um, created for this game. I also really like that this came with um, a nice little magnetic box to hold your dice. And what I like to do is I just put the dice that I need for solo mode and then like those two uh, score trackers and then I'm ready to go. It's just I gotta take the cards out, shuffle a little bit, take this board out, and then I'm, I get to play. Um, I actually really, really, really like this game, and people who don't like l luck, um, luck-based games probably may not enjoy this as much, but the Barista cards definitely do help with the mitigation, and there's strategy involved. I'm sure I may have gotten myself some more points if I just waited and, and decided which order to do my lattes in. 
Um, but yeah, the, the biggest thing with the AI is that you know that they're going to start from left to right when they're completing their their um, their lattes, uh, their, their dice. So um, yeah, the, uh, the AI won this time, but I do plan on doing some more playthroughs of this one. Um, I think it's an exciting game to play and it'll probably work very well, especially in multiplayer, the competitiveness of it all. It could be up to four players, as you can see, with the four different colors. Um, but the AI works just fine for me. All right, I'll stop rambling here. Uh, let me know what you think of this game. Or if I also made any, um, you know, rules mistakes, always welcome those corrections. But yeah, I will see you guys around. Thank you.